Hey friends, it's Gabby back here in front of you today. As you can tell from the title, I will be recreating my outfits from 2010 to 2019. Now that the decade is ending, I feel like it would be high time to pay an homage to my style that developed over the decade, you know? I mean, when I started the decade, I was like seven. Now I'm 17. It's a crazy year ahead and yeah, here is to my youth, I guess. Also, I'm wearing pajamas, as you can tell. So, the first outfit is this. I will be recreating this photo. The photo was taken in Hong Kong, and I was like seven. I was wearing a white polo with a denim skirt, which unfortunately, I do not have a denim skirt anymore. So I just opted to use this plaid skirt. I was also wearing Crocs because I was a very big Crocs girl. So yeah, that's the look. Absolutely love it. Kind of gives you the Y2K vibes, you know? 2010 was like my graphic shirt era where I always had to wear like cartoon character shirts. It was coincidentally tight fitting so my belly was just like popping off. I do not have a character shirt anymore so I opted to use this pug shirt that I had. I also loved wearing black pants. Apparently I completely forgot this style but like I really really loved it. And then I also wore Converse's very often. Also I was very fond of wearing headbands during that time which is why I wore the only headband that I have right now. So 2012 was like a dancer I believe during this time so I only had like those wide leg pants kind of thing we call them jazz pants in the Philippines I don't know like what they call it here but they were just plain black pants for dancing and I always used it for obviously jazz yeah I incorporated that style into my daily outfits including this look that I have right here I loved tourist shirts I have this I Heart NY shirt that I got from Pride this year. I also have one of these black and eco wide length, not really straight cut flare jeans. So wearing the same exact shoes I wore last year because why would I need new shoes? And I used to put my hair on a low ponytail that time because my hair was quite short. So yeah, very young style. So for 2013, I have this basic outfit. I always had to wear the same exact outfit together. I wore this pair of blue shorts together with a pair of like black Aztec shirt that you could tie up at the bottom. I've actually found this in my closet. I didn't know I still had it. And so I decided to use it for this video. I absolutely loved and adored this pair of shorts because it fit me perfectly. So I opted to use the blue shorts for this look as well as like a black-ish gray shirt that I got from artwork. It, I wore it every time I went to the mall or like to see family and stuff. It was just a good outfit. My sisters always got mad at me because I always wore that same outfit every single time. So yeah. Moving on to 2014, I have my go-to overalls look. I used to wear overalls and a plain white shirt every single day because it was just a good classic outfit at the time. I was very into Bethany Moda. She had one video, I think, that she was wearing overalls and so I wanted to wear overalls as well. So I bought like four pairs of overalls from different stores and I just went ham on it. I was also very into graphic shirts during this time, so I incorporated both pieces into one outfit. So just so you know, I'm selling some of the stuff that I'm wearing in this lookbook, including this pair of overalls. I just wore this very nice white top from artwork. Yeah, there's nothing much to say to this. I just went crazy for overalls and rompers during this time, so yeah moving on to 2015 i believe i was the most goth emo girl tumblr girl 
Why is my dog barking? Because I always wore tattoo chokers on my neck and bracelets, like the tattoo choker bracelets. I always wore dark gray clothing and like high-waisted jeans. But I also was really in love with off-the-shoulder tops. In homage to that era, I have the same exact off-the-shoulder top that I'm selling on Depop. I even had a, a bucket hat on. I always wore the same shoes from Adidas the superstars because that was really trendy during that time 2016 so this was when I turned 15 and it was my last full year living in the Philippines I believe this was my favorite year of my life and I really really loved this shirt I got this from Tai Tai and it's warm and knit people always made fun of me because why would you wear this in the Philippines? It is so hot. But I have this top. I wore it to Japan that year. I paired like a black pair of culottes on it, but I do not have culottes anymore. So instead, I will be wearing black jeans for this outfit. I really love this outfit. 10 out of 10. 2016 was the year. So yeah, one of my favorite years of the decade to be honest. So yeah. All right, 2017. This was the year that I immigrated to the US. I decided to spice up my outfit immediately when I got to the US with a Hawaiian shirt because our port of entry was in Hawaii. I got this from Walmart. It was my favorite shirt. I wore it every single day for like three months of summer because it was the only clothes that I had really. So I just chose to wear a black pair of jeans. We're down to two outfits and the next one is 2018 right here. I wore this outfit on my 16th birthday. I really loved this sweater. It's super cute and comfy. I love the gray color but I just don't seem to wear it anymore that's why I'm selling it. But I have these wide length pants that I wore on almost every single post of the year. I just love these wide length pants. But I sadly ripped these the other time. When I was going to my internship, I was biking and then it got stuck on the thing. I think it's like the kit, the wire thing. So yeah, I had to go back and change and I fixed it, it's all good. I could wear it again. But yeah, definitely my favorite pair of pants in 2018. I also wore these shoes very often in 2018. And I'm also selling it on Depop, so. Check out my Depop, guys. I'm tired of shamelessly plugging. I'm so sorry. And now for the finale, 2019. I believe I grew the most during this year. I'm technically a semi-adult by now. I'm like 18 and a half, 17 and a half, plus plus years old. Oh my God, that's a 1975 song. I'm so happy. Anyway, this year was very teddy coat era for me. Um, at the beginning of the year, I wore this almost every single day. I achieved many things with this coat, including getting my license. It is really cozy, um, kind of heavy really, but it's really, really nice quality. I got it from YesStyle. Um, and then I paired it with my favorite BT21 t-shirt. This is from the BT21 store, like the Line Friend store. I also wore this, this iconic pair of jeans. They were the ones that had the frayed bottoms at the end. I've grown up and I'm trying out new things. I'm going to college, applying to college right now. Every end of the year, I always like ponder on what happened and this year, I'm just so thankful. Like, we'll just see what happens in 2020. There's not much to see <laughs> really by this point of the year. But no, thank you. Thank you, 2019. Thank you guys so much. It's been a wild ride, but obviously, does the grind ever stop? No. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this kind of video. I'm trying to do something new since this is my last video of 2019. I feel like these outfits hold a lot of stories for me. I realize that I have a lot of memories and like honestly sometimes you just gotta let go of those. But at the same time I have to cherish them and thank them for letting me grow up to be the person that I am today. So yeah, but that is all I'm gonna say. 
I hope you have a happy new year and celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you guys in 2020. That's so cringy. I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you all keep growing. Bye!